Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth, and I'm back again for your June uh, first, well, June <laughs> 2015 uh, monthly tarot horoscope. Um, and this is for the entire month of June, actually. I usually do a regular monthly video plus a mid video, mid month video update. Um, I'm sitting on my bed here. This is a little bit old school, like how I originally started doing these videos, um, because I had some light lighting issues. I always kind of have lighting issues. Um, it's like so bright outside, and um, anyways, I couldn't I couldn't even see myself. It was such a weird contrast. So, so anyways, I'm back again, and this is um, uh, for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in the lovely Aquarius. Okay. And uh, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, it's been kind of, like I talked about in my May videos, a cra last month was really crazy. And, um, you know, I do want to share a little, a little thing that I got before I start my reading. I got this really cool, it's like one of those little pendants, and it has dolphins on it. It's really pretty. And it's, it makes me happy when I, when I like shook it, it makes me happy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's definitely like healing and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sending you guys a little bit of happiness. Um, cause I don't know, I don't know what it is. It just makes me think like every time I shake this, like the fairies are dancing and I feel like they, they are, they like this. And so this is good for you, um, your energy, and so it kind of clears away negativity, I think. It's just really pretty, and um, I just loved it. It just makes me happy. I don't know why. It just does. Um, it's really good energy. So I'm sending to, that to you, Aquarius. And um, I am back again using my regular Shadowscapes deck, okay, the, by Stephanie Pui Moon Law. And um, so let's just see what we've got here for you for the month of June. Again, for everyone with their sun and sun or moon in Aquarius. Okay. Okay, it's kind of an interesting spread. Um, to start off with, you know, my deck was actually in reverse, but sometimes I just go with it. Um, and at the heart of the reading is um, the Ten of Cups in reverse, okay? So the Ten of Cups in the upright position is, I call this the sex card. Okay, you can see two people not wearing much uh, in the throes of passion. Okay, and um, so in reverse, um, I wrote that it's an affair um, uh, or that that is unfair to both people. Um, it can also indicate good sex, um, but a relationship that's emotionally unfulfilling. Um, this can also indicate two people unable to stop having uh, sex regardless of others that are involved. Okay. So they're really like locked into a love triangle. Okay. Um, and this does block your blessings financially because originally this card was also about financial prosperity. Okay. Um, so it's really interesting because, you know, I have a lot of clients who call me, uh, for private readings, and um, we talk a lot about cheating, okay? And people don't really understand how it blocks your blessings if you think about somebody who's in a relationship or you get into, like, a love triangle. And so, because people, a lot of people can't imagine how it's it's possible for that to happen. Well, it's, it's, an, it's a little thing that's, it's more about the energies, um... And it's one of those things where if you have negativity in your life, it blocks you from positivity, okay? So it's not necessarily the actions that are causing the block. It's the negativity of the actions or of that person that are causing the block, okay? It's the negativity. So 
Um, that is just the way I see it. Now, some of you may not be in anything like this. Some of you be, may be having some financial difficulty, or maybe you're concerned about having financial difficulty. Um, you know, maybe you're just spending a lot. Some of you may just be spending a lot um, at the beginning of June. Maybe May, you know, kind of you were just spending a lot, big chunks, you know, big having a lot of expenses. Um, and in the beginning of uh, June, maybe your um, your blessings were blocked a little bit um, because of either being tempted to want to be in a relationship with someone who's unavailable or being tempted to want to cheat or, um, you know, again, some of you aren't even in a relationship. Some of you who are single... It's just a t kind of a tough financial moment. Um, it's not forever, so I don't want you guys to panic, okay? This is not a panicking moment. This spread is actually really good, but I am talking about this card specifically for those people who are in a relationship with someone who's unavailable, who are, um, you know, you know, involved in some kind of love triangle, you would do best financially for you to get out of the relationship, especially if you don't have a job, especially if you're struggling financially. That is my advice, okay? Everybody else who's not in a relationship, those of you who are single, um, this is, you know, just be more careful about how you're spending your money and start really watching how much you're spending um, because maybe what you've saved is kind of kind of cutting, you know, dwindling down a little bit. It's not, you can see, there's still plenty of fish here. And some of you may, you may be actually having, some of you may have worries about finances that are, like, unfounded, you know, like, you have money still, so, you know, don't complain about it, don't get into the poverty consciousness, you know, you're kind of getting in danger of doing that. Don't, don't be the miser, okay, is what I'm trying to say. Because this is, this isn't the miser, this is someone who's spending a lot, um, and who enjoys spending it, but at the same time, if you are that person who's overly, overly worried, worrying, worrying, worried, Aquarius, you know, you've got a lot going on in the head, um, then you may be, um, in a way, that may be blocking your blessings, that worry, that concern about finances. That's blocking your blessings, okay? Now, I know Aquarius has gotten the devil several times, and I almost feel like this is in the same position. I don't remember. I have to go back to the video. But you've got the devil, which is what's crossing you, okay? And the devil is um, an energy of someone who has an addiction problem, okay? Someone who is it likes to be in control, someone who likes the power, someone who has some maybe some power or thinks they have some power over you, but they don't, okay? Um, and it is um, the words of, you know, my what I always suggest when it comes to this, this card is breaking free and taking your power back and saying, no, um, you can't have my heart. My heart belongs to somebody else, you know? Um, I've talked a lot about this card. Um, and they're drawing me, my guides are drawing me to the mask. There's this mask in this image here. There's a mask. And the devil's wearing, the devil's wearing a mask. There are things that are hidden from you. There's things that you don't know, okay? There's a person in your life that's not telling you everything. Okay, and someone may just be tempted. There, to me, there's a lot of temptation issues here because you have the, you know, you have to me an affair, like an outright affair. Okay, and then you've got crossing, being crossed by the devil, which is temptation and addiction and sex issues and, you know, being a slave to that. And so this is also, you know, uh, someone maybe who likes to spend a lot of money and has a, has, um, you know, they're, they're addicted to material security. Um, and then, you know, they're addicted to money, actually. You know, money, they, they're just like in love with money. Um, and so the issue um, may be that, uh, you know, you don't want to quit a job. You hate your job. Some of you may hate your job, okay? Not everybody. And there may be people who aren't working, okay? So some of you, though, I feel like, those of you who have a job may be 
becoming chained to that money. There's a financial aspect here, okay? There's a money thing going on where if you're in a job and you don't want to leave, it's because of the money. You like the security of the money. And um, there may be aspects of the job that you don't like, but you're unwilling to make changes and break out of it and quit it or do something different because you like the money, you like the financial security, you like the material. So there's there's someone, some of you who have a material, um, you know, you're kind of a slave to your material desires. Some of you are materialistic, okay? And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just saying that's kind of just what I'm getting right now. Not everybody is. Some of you are in a relationship with the devil. So that means you have a friend or your partner or your husband or somebody in your life that is the devil and they have, and they think they have some kind of control over you. Um, and it's time to say no and break out of that and... Uh, because they don't really, you know, it's just, the, we're dancing with the devil. The devil thinks they have it all kind of figured out, you know, but they don't. Um, and they think that you're powerless because you're naked. No, no, no. You're still a divine being. You're still very strong and you can do whatever you damn well please. And so, and you're going to, okay? So, <laughs> for those of you who are stuck, stuck in a situation, you're not stuck. It appears that it appears that you're stuck. You may feel tortured by something or someone because that's the devil energy too. Or you may be, you know, tempted to sleep with someone who's unavailable. Um, but you know, it's just a temptation. See, the thing about this is a flimsy little jail cell here. It's flimsy. Anytime she could push one way or the other, and these rocks would fall over. She can get out. I see it as a she in a relationship to a he, but. Um, you know, it can be a guy, I mean, if you're, you know, male Aquarius, it can be a guy that maybe you feel tortured or trapped or stuck in some way. Um, so, um, and I am getting, you know, my guys, you know, say, male Aquarius is you may be in a relationship with someone who feels this way, Okay. Who, who just it's something that's just the way they feel those are their feelings they may feel like you have some power some control and and uh, they they don't like that and um, it's not it's not comfortable for them and so um, I wouldn't be surprised um, male Aquarius is if your partner you know asks you for a divorce or if your partner talks to you and says hey this is no longer working or you know, somebody in your life that says, hey, this is no longer working. It, it, it's it's, it's, it's going to lead eventually to a breakup. And, and actually, actually, it's linked to the Tower card, which is a, a breakup or divorce or some unexpected incident or something that happens. So I feel like, and that's in the, the card that's happening in the recent past. So to me, the story here is in a, in a land, you know, in a time not that long ago, in a land far, far away, or maybe not that so far, you know, you were feeling really drained up. You were feeling like, you know, being pulled down, you know, not supported, you know, unloved, um, you know, terrified of getting hurt. Um, and, and you may have engaged with someone who, or been tempted by someone who was unavailable, okay? Other people may have just been felt like unsupported by their partner, unsupported by their their spouse, um, or just unsupported in general, just having a lot of problems. This is someone who's had a lot of problems happen, a lot of problems. And, and the, you know, the relationship, there's a relationship that's dissolved, okay? Um, not necessarily because of this, um, you know, these problems, but the problems are kind of in the background. It's just the problems are like in the background, okay? It's the hills, the problems, the mountains of problems, okay? Um, and, and there's, you know, problems within the relationship if you're in a partnership, if you have, if you are married, um, you know, this could be also somebody in your life, you know, it could be a friend, it, it could be a family member where you're, you have problems, okay? Um, and uh, it leads to the dissolving, the dissolu dissolution, dissolution? Solving. I don't know what the word is, of, of your relationship with them, okay? It comes to an end. There is something that comes to an end. Very, uh, I, I feel like it's very sudden, very quick, um, 
And this happened recently, okay? So, at the, you know, maybe the end of May, something big kind of happened, you know? Um, I don't know, you know, I probably will be posting this um, June 2nd. So, you know, this could be even June 1st when this happened, okay? As, as, as recently as that, okay? Um, and this is, this is intense, heavy stuff. It feels like there's this, this like this, the, the recent past and the distant past and weighing a baggage. They're weighing you down. And it's time to unload. It's time to let go. It's time to just move on. And, um, and I feel like you're going to. I feel like you're going to move on. Um, those of you who are in an affair, it, it, if you, you know, I am going to just warn you, financially, if you don't let it go, it will block your blessings. And you will lose everything you have as far as money, as far as I'm concerned, those of you who are in a relationship with a, with a married uh, man or woman, um, it's not going to bode well for your finances. Not at all. Okay. Um, so it's time to let go. It's time to let go of the negativity. It's time to let go of it all. Let go of it basically. Um, cause you have a cluster of negativity. Um, some of you, it's more financial problem, you know, a mountain of bills. Some of you may just have a lot of bills or heavy expenses or things that have come up that you maybe weren't expecting that you had to pay. You know, somehow I have like a hundred dollars that I owe to the library. You know, I'm going, oh, well, <laughs> that's a lot of money. So this is out of the library and overdue fine. They didn't send me a reminder notice. And it was the first time I'd ever checked because I just moved here. You know, I first time I ever checked anything out. And I checked all this stuff out. And then suddenly, boom, $100 later. And I'm going, oh, my God. You know, it's a lot. So, I mean, that kind of stuff. Things may, it may be unexpected things. It may be something that's been haunting you for a while, like a bill that's haunting you for a while. Or it may be, um... You know, something that's just popped up. Things have just piled up. Um, now, what's crowning you, and going forward, you have a beautiful rest of the month, okay? To me, it's like the past It's what's haunting you, not in a little bit of the present, but this devil energy is gone. This tower energy is gone. This ten of swords energy is looming in the background, okay? It's going to continue to loom in the background, Problems and things you're going to have to work through. However, going forward, the month of June, to me, is an amazing time. Okay, it's an amazing time for you. Because um, you've got the Empress card, that's what's crowning you. And the Empress is um, romance. Yeah, I think the Empress is romance. She's a romantic. She's a summer fairy. She's creative. She, she has the power to achieve anything that she wants. Okay, so you female Aquarius especially, um, and male Aquarius is too. This is artistic creativity. Some of you may be artists. Message me if you are. Um, this is really the the energy right now in June for you Aquarius. I feel is the words "let it go" are like coming through very strong. But also, um, you know, anything that's kind of happened in the past that's traumatic, let it go. Okay, um, but. Doing things that are creative, really positive stuff. Anything that you can do that's creative, whether it's drawing, whether it's writing, whether it's photography, um, you know, whether it's kind of brainstorming with somebody, starting business, doing something different with your life, uh, maybe going on a really cool trip. All that's creative because you have to be creative in order to put things like, you know, put things together. Um, some of you may love to travel. Message me if you like to travel. Some of you really like to travel and you may be going away. Um, I feel like, I feel like, you, you know, you've got several moving cards here and trust me, I have had several nervous breakdowns about moving again and, um, I don't want to move again, but the energy in June for Aquarius is, um, is moving. Okay. Um, a lot of you are going to be moving because you've got the moving card, uh, in the immediate future. Okay. So this is early June. Okay. This may be planning a trip though. Some of you may be planning a trip. Um, don't panic. <laughs> I've <all> panicked <laughs> about moving. I don't like moving. Obviously, I, I talk about this a lot. Um, but um, there's energy for it there. Some of you may have the moving energy. It may just be you're planning a new direction or you're planning a trip and going away. You, you're, or maybe it even some of you are kind of craving some kind of adventure. Maybe some of you are kind of like 
you have a little bit of what I would might call cabin fever, okay? You need to do something different, something new, something that excites you, something that kind of gets you, your, maybe your creative juices going. Um, and for everybody, it's different, you know, whatever that is, you know. Um, I feel like some of you, it, some of you need to take a vacation, you know. Some of you need to do something that, you know, I'm seeing like amusement parks. I'm seeing like, I don't know, the word rodeo came to my mind. Um, you know, something that's exciting, you know, going to a show, um, something, you know, maybe in New York. New York City. Um, if you're going to, to see a show or something in New York, please let me know what it is. Message me. That'd be awesome. Um, just doing something really fun. And I know that, I mean, I've watched a lot of videos for June for Aquarius, and I know that everybody's saying that it's going to be a really fun month. Um, it's really up to you to make it fun. It's really up to you to do something fun, do something different, take the time off to do it. Um, uh, that, I mean, that's just what the energy is, okay? Um, and things are going to be happening quickly. Um, I mean, to me, this is you, okay? You've got the chariot card before, and I do see her as being, um, you know, a lot of people will, you know, and I, and I, and I re please request not to be, like, I don't want to get into the argument of, that's a cancer, the chariot represents a cancer, and, like, no. To me, the Aquarius is a water bearer, okay? And in a magical kingdom, she is the ruler of this water world, okay? Because she is the water bearer. She's in the control of the water. She's, she has a connection to water, okay? Aquarius just have a strong connection to water. Um, they need to be by the water. They need to do things with water. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of Aquariuses like to shower, like to, to, to bathe. I mean, it's just very important for Aquarius to be near water. So to me, this is you, okay? Um, and the chariot is also about riding high with success. This is success. This is things moving quickly. You're going to win. You're going to be victorious. This is absolute definite success. Um, this is fast and furious, okay? This is fast and furious success. This is in the future. This is towards the, I would say, towards the mid to end of June. But this is also the position of your attitude where, you know, you're kind of riding high with success. Some of you are very successful. Some of you are, I feel like you're going to be having a really good month, okay? Really, really good month. And this is good news. This is where, you know, you get the promotion, where you, you get you get something that maybe you've wanted for a really long time, okay? Um, you know, I feel like this happens maybe just after Mercury Retrograde, the 13th, the 14th, the 15th, um, the 22nd. Could even happen around the 11th, um, the 23rd as well, the 25th. Excuse me. Um, some of you have a connection to turtles. Some of you Aquarius guys may be meeting a Cancer female because this also does represent Cancers. Okay, so if this is an Aquarius, this isn't you Aquarius females, and this is Aquarius males. This is me. You may be have you may have um, a relationship with another Aquarius. Okay, and you'd be in a relationship with another Aquarius, but it doesn't feel more like that to me. It feels like. Um, you know, this is an Aquarius Cancer connection uh, where, you know, Aquarius male specifically may be in a relationship with the can uh, Aquarius female, okay? Um, or Aquarius males may be in a, rela a relationship with a Cancer female. Uh, it could go either way. And she's successful, and she's gorgeous, and she... Um, she likes to run. I guess she really likes to run. There's some, some, you know, swift. She likes to kind of, she might be, I don't know why I'm getting this. She might even be like an Olympic runner or something like that. Um, where she's, and that's what she does professionally. She's a runner or she's a skater or she, she likes to go and, um, you know, just fly. She may also be like um, like an airline pilot or something like that. Or she may like do like private planes or anything with air 
you know, helicopter pilots. It's so funny. I actually was, I wanted to be a helicopter pilot at one point, and I still do, actually. <laughs> at some point, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I got my, my license to be a helicopter pilot. I really, really like it. Um, this is when I was in my early 20s, and it was just something crazy that I thought about doing. Anyways, where was I? Going back to your reading. Okay, so you have, so you have not only have the chariot, but you have the two of wands. Sorry, so yeah, the two of wands. Okay, and the two of wands is what's coming in from the outside. Okay, and two, the two of wands is all about sitting on top of the world. Okay, being in a, a power and achievement. Um, this is amazing for real estate, investing, uh, accumulation of properties. This is you arriving. Okay, this is some feeling of arriving. Now you have, you have. This is, this is the cool part about the reading, Aquarius. This is really, this is the cool part, okay? And this is for Aquarius guys and girls, okay? You have, in the position of your emotions, you have the world, okay? And the world is literally your oyster, okay? The world is everything. Everybody talks about how amazing it is. And it's about wealth, happiness, family, abundance, love, having it all, believing you can have it all, and, and you can and that's the cool part, okay? So you have the world, okay? Followed by, which is everything you could want. You know, everything being available for you, you to have, okay? And this is great emotionally. That means you're really in a good place emotionally where you believe you can have it all. Where you are in a really good place. Um, some of you are psychic. Some of you are intuitive. Um, because this is a psychic woman who's looking into the future, um, some of you already know the future and you know that it's really positive and you're kind of excited for that and there's a certain excitement there. Um, okay, but you have the world followed by the two wands, which is having, literally being on top of the world. So you, have, so you know you have the world at your fingertips and you can have it all. And then you do. And this is the energy of the universe supporting you saying, yes, you literally are sitting on top of the world. Okay. Which is wild to have them together. Really, really cool. Okay. And then you have the chariot, which is really good news, which is very, very swift, good news. Okay. And um, the final touch to this whole thing is this beautiful card. This is the Eight of Wands. It's in reverse, but it's good, actually. Okay. So the Eight of Wands in the um, upright position is the wish card. I call it the wish because she's making a wish on the dandelions, okay? And in reverse, um, she's wishing for children and she gets pregnant, okay? Um, and for those of you, to, so to, to me, it's amazing. The good news, I think for some of you in June, Aquarius ladies, is that you're getting pregnant, that you're pregnant, actually. Um, because to me... The good news followed by getting your wish and wa wanting to get pregnant and maybe having a difficult time getting pregnant. Um, this is this is it happen. This is happening. Okay. Um, if you do get pregnant in June, message me. <laughs> I love to hear about. It. I think it's good. It's great. It's awesome. Okay. And then also, um, this is also for some, those of you who have kids and that are really worried about your kids, and that are really, like, stressing about your kids. Some, some people have special needs children, and they worry a lot, okay? And if you're one of those moms, you know, your Chris, who has children with special needs, or you're spending a lot of time worried about your children, know that they're going to be okay, okay? Know that they're going to be fine. Um, and you need to calm your worries and your fears and really be in that place, okay? Um, I always say it's never the children that need the help. It's the parents. Okay. Um, but I think that for guys, okay, for male Aquariuses, this is, um, I mean, maybe you and your partner are wanting to get pregnant or maybe you're wanting to be a dad, you know, maybe you want children. This is something that you want. Um, and you're going to have, your wish is going to be granted. Some of you are going to have two kids. Some of you are going to have three kids. Um, some of you are only going to have one. But it, it, it's going to depend, obviously, on the person. But I feel like I'm getting those numbers, okay? One, two, and three. I know that's not very helpful. It's very general. But 
unfortunately this is a general reading <laughs> so if you want something more personal um, you know feel free to email me um, so to me it's like starting in June it's like the lights go on May was all about this fear being in, in a relationship with the devil you know getting rid of that relationship or needing to get rid of that relationship um, maybe being involved in some kind of triangle or, or thinking about being involved in some kind of love triangle and or you know being really concerned about your finances financially for you Aquarius June is a great time okay to me this is a great time those of you who are you know big spenders do need to kind of watch it um, but it's it's not I don't feel like this is a time June is going to be a time for you where you're going to have to worry about losing it all okay it's to me it's not those of you who are in a an affair type relationship okay or there's somebody that you like that's in a relationship avoid them okay um, get rid of it because it's not going to be good for those of you who are doing that to me you will you won't be able to tap into the positive stuff because that negativity will still continue to block you that's how I see it Okay, so you need to let that go. Um, I mean, this is it, to me, it's such a positive reading. I, I don't even really, I mean, there's so many good things about it. I don't even know. I do want to pull one final card. Um, Some of you are really concerned about your health. I pulled the, the last card is the hanged man. And it's really interesting because I think that you guys have gotten this also several times. Um, and um, the hanged man is all about hanging in there. Okay. It's literally to me hanging in there, having the inner strength and patience to get through anything. And um, to me, because it's right next to the wish card and because I, you know, I pulled it and I put it right there. It to me is you're wanting to have better health. You're wishing for better health. For, so for those of you who don't have kids, who aren't thinking about children, who maybe it's not yet time for you to have them or, or you can't have them, it, it may just be you're concerned about your health um, because to me the hangman is a test of strength as well, physical strength. Um, some of you are kind of going to be in a mode of waiting where things don't happen as quickly. So for some of you, I feel like in a way there's delay. And for some of you, it's more, for the majority, I would say, things are happening very quickly. When it comes to your health, there may be some delay, um, but it's a test of your strength. And I do feel like you're going to, um, your health is going to improve because, you know, it's right next to the wish card. It's getting what you want. And what if you what you want is good health. Um, you're going to get that. Make sure that you're putting it out there to the universe and you're, you're requesting that specifically uh, for those of you who, are, who may be kind of suffering um, from health concerns that, um, you know, maybe they do concern your family as well. You know, yourself, but your family as well. Because to me, we have like a little family there in the, the wish card. So some of you may have family issues where you're concerned about a family member who's not well. Um, and um, they're going to be okay. You're going to be okay, you know, um, because if you put it out there and you're wishing and you make your wish and that's the intention that your family is well, that you are well, and that your health is looked after, then um, to me it's going to happen. Um, but it's interesting because it's these two, the devil and I feel like the hangman are repeats, okay? So there's something going on with your health. There's something going on with temptation. There's something going on with uh, power control issues, okay? Um, and there's something going on with relationships dissolving, okay? Where it's sort of just like, I feel like some relationships are dissolving and then you get all this new stuff. It's just like this flood of, you know, this creative energy, this flood of you know, prosperity and abundance and, and children. And, and to me, it's like your, to me, it's almost like your cup runneth over. It's like so much. Um, and, um, it's so much positive. It, it may be overwhelming for you. Uh, it may feel like 
the lights have gone on and, and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, the, the, it's, it's so much, it's so amazing. You, you just may be kind of on cloud nine for a little while. Aquariuses are on cloud nine anyways, but <laughs> maybe on cloud nine, the month of June, going into July, this is amazing energy. Really, really great. Those of you who are not taking good care of yourselves, you do need to pay more attention to your health, eat better, sleep better, and drink more water, okay? Because we've got the chariot there with its lots of water. Um, and um, the words, drink, drink, the water will bring you life. I don't know what that's from. I, don't, I may have written that somewhere in the past, um, but that's it. You know, you need to drink more water. Um, and... You do need to have some quiet time alone where you process your um, feelings and emotions. And um, again, I do feel like some of you need to go away to get perspective um, and you need to be creative and you need to see things a little bit from that higher perspective of the hanged man where it's like he's in a different position. He's looking at his life from a different position in a way. And I'm just going to say this, I know this is just coming to me, but, you know, you have to, in a way, really stop thinking of yourself as being the victim in your life, okay? Because I feel like the hanged man, It's a, to me, it's a little boy or girl who, run, you know, maybe they get into a fight with their parents, something happens, and they run away, and they're sad, and they're upset, and they feel like the victim, and all they want is someone to talk to. And they go to the tree, and the tree says, you know, let me help you, and they hang on to the tree, and their perspective changes, and they realize that they're not the victim, it, it was just a learning experience, because the journey of the fool, uh, in the tarot itself, is all about the journey of the fool, and the journey of the fool just reflects life, it reflects our lessons and our journey through life. And one of the lessons we need to learn in life is that we are not the victim of our lives because we chose to come here to learn certain things. As hard as they are to learn, um, we still chose to learn them. And, so, and the, the older the soul is, the harder the tests. So if you know you're an older soul and you've reincarnated many times, then you know that this life is going to be tough. You know, this is a tough lesson. The hanged man is a tough lesson because it's it's a test of physical strength. And when you're not well, it's easy to deteriorate your emotions and, and your mental, you know, focus can deteriorate very easily. But you have to, I guess the lesson is love yourself. Know that you're worthy of love no matter what. Know that, um, You know, know that you can get through this and that you will get through this and that it's, um, you know, you have two, two options really, surviving or not surviving. And to me, you're going to survive, you know, I mean, it's the survival of the fittest here in this planet. So, you know, um, respect your body for what it's going through, respect your body for its, its reactions to things, um, and, um, trust that. By changing your perspective, embracing the, the issue, embrace the stuff that you've gone through in life. Embrace it rather than being like, well, you know, they did this to me and I'm the victim, you know. Rather than thinking it that way or thinking the universe is out to get me. Don't think that, okay, because it's not. You chose to learn this lesson and it's a tough lesson when your physical health deteriorates. When you're not healthy, it's hard, okay. Those of you, this is for those of you who are, you know, worried about their health, okay? For other people, it's about waiting, okay? It's about waiting for the time, the timing. I feel like it's a timing thing. I feel like you are going to get pregnant if you're worried about, you know, getting pregnant. You are going to get pregnant. It's a timing issue, though. Um, whatever it is that you're waiting on, okay, whether it's a new romance or whether it's a new job, um, and it's, you know, it's causing you significant stress and it's, it's breaking down your health. Um, don't let it because it's, things are going to happen in the right time at the, at the right moment. And you're going to be successful. You're going to, to me, I feel like you are going to have children. You are going to be healthy. Um, 
you know, you just need to change your perspective. Change your perspective. You're, you're not the victim. Nobody's the victim in, in life. Uh, we're not. We choose our experiences. So this is something that you may you chose, and um, and now some of you are going, well, but I didn't choose this. I got sick with this. And, um, no, it, it's something that you did choose on a soul level, okay? Uh, and um, it's not a punishment, Okay, it's not a punishment. It's just a learning experience. There's a difference. So I'm going to leave you with that. Um, I wish you guys all the best. I'm going to wish you a little bit more happiness and joy and good health and, and lots of love. And um, I'm going to send you big hugs. Big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.